Chris here from the Gotta Get Shot YouTube channel with your first video of 2019 where I'll predict Rafa starting 11 for Newcastle's upcoming game against Manchester United. So once again there's not much point even debating this one, it's Martin Dubravka in goal. In front of him I think Rafa will revert back to an old school back four. I'm a little unsure if Fernandez will be available for selection with the hip injury he picked up against the one goal draw with Watford but assuming he's not fit enough to make the squad it will be a centre back pairing of Shaw and the Cells. Once again, Lascelles needs to have a good game this time out. He's been a little bit shaky since the start of the season with the form of both Shaw and Fernandez. Then he needs to step up. Alongside the two in the centre, it will be Yedlin on the right hand side, along with Paul Dummett over on the left. They'll both have a tough evening with the current form of Manchester United, but hopefully Yedlin can hit them with his pace on the counter, and Dummett can loan someone in red into the east end. On to midfield, it's a tough one this week. Now that Kay has gone away on international duty, it now just leaves Shelby and Hayden as our two recognised centre midfield players who can play alongside Big Mo Diormi in the middle of the park. Hayden started the last game v Watford and had a half decent game. Shelby did make a late appearance in the game and may have well been partly to blame for Watford's late equaliser as he let his man get into a goal scoring opportunity unmarked. But having said that, I do think Rafa will give Shelby the nod ahead of Hayden. Just like Jamal Lascelles though, Shelby is in a similar situation. He needs a decent performance. He's been left on the bench since Kay has stole the starting spot from him. Over on the wings, it's an absolute no-brainer to have Richie in there. He's delivered some outstanding crosses into the box last week against Watford. And with the big man up top, he'll hopefully be able to grab himself an assist this week. Over on the right, I do think we'll see Atsu, who has been lively over the last handful of games. He's not the greatest, but he keeps on trying and that's all that we'll ask for up here. It looks like Kendrick hasn't been pulling his weight in training recently, so unless things have changed, then it won't be him starting. Up top, and just playing off the big man, will be a Jose Perez, there's no doubt about it. He needs to graft this time and track back, rather than pissing and moaning at the officials when it dishes and doesn't go his way. Manchester will be a danger on the counter, and Jose needs to keep up with the pace of the game, and not let any player get away from him. Let's just pray that at some point during the game, we do see a Jose stick both his fingers in both log holes, and last but certainly not least, it will be big Solomon Rondon up top. To be honest, he's class. We'll be daft if we haven't already made the inquiry into making his loan move a permanent deal. Not only is he a powerhouse up top, but he's a workhorse. He'll bust a gut to get back and defend if needed. But I do fear that he may be left in the opponent's half all alone for the majority of the game. But you never know. Anyway, that's my guess of what our starting 11 will be. No doubt I'll be well off the mark because not a single person on this planet has any idea what Rafa is thinking. Once again, if you did like this video and you want to see more of this kind of content, then hit that like button and don't forget to subscribe to the channel. We've got plenty planned for 2019, so come join in the action with us. Away the lads.